George gave eggs and eggplant eggs and eggplant to the grocer. To the grocer. Excellent pronunciation. Grocer is the person who runs the grocery store. <laughs> Let's try it again quickly. George gave eggs. George gave egg and eggplant to the grocer. And eggplant to the grocer. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Repetition is the mother of learning. So let's review a little bit. Last time we talked about all food having four tastes. So do you remember them? I'm going to show them in Espanol. You tell me in English. Dulce is? Yes. Amargo? Sour. Sour. Salado? Salty. Salty. Agrio. Bitter. Please repeat. Bitter. Bitter. Can you think of a food that's bitter? Bitter. Bitter. In the morning for breakfast. When you drink it, it isn't bitter because you put leche and sugar in it. But negro, it is bitter. What is it? Coffee. Coffee is bitter. All right. Let's compare two items. And to compare them, we're going to use four words. Texture, textura, OK, we're going to. Yes, please. Can you see the chart? Mia, please. We can see. OK, good. OK, let's do a little matching. And we can see the, the picture, please. Okay. All right, more, 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 more. Yeah. Get here. Better? Yes. OK. Oh, more students. Very good. They arrived. Oh, nice. Three <laughs> thirty. OK, so we're going to compare foods according to size, color, texture, and how we eat them. How we eat them. So if we eat them with our fingers, what word is that? OK. OK. Oh, we eat them with our fingers. Dede, can you see it? Right. Más cerca, please. Oh, I didn't see. I'll hold it. Yeah. Dado. Finger. Oh. 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 Oh
You don't need to copy it. None. You don't need to copy it. Just go through the exercise with me, please. Okay, what about size? Size. size. Yeah. Which one? B and A. Size, Tomanio. B. Size, Tomanio. That's true. Okay. Spoon. Eating something with a spoon. D. Spoon. Spoon. Very good. Cuchara. E. Texture. This one's a cognate. This one's easy. Letter D. 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 Excellent. D. Fork. Fork. C. Excellent. Good. Senador. Smooth. Smooth. Smooth is como suave. Suave. F. F. Alisar. Crunchy. Yes. H. H. Good. H. Crunchy. Curiente. Chewy. <coughs> Chewy. Whoops, I I've got one word twice. Chewy. Who knows the word for chewy? Masticasto. Come see, they say. A masticar comida. Chewy is the adjective. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Have you ever done a Venn diagram? Have you ever done a Venn diagram? This is a Venn diagram. Okay. So I'm going to compare two foods. A strawberry and a cucumber. Okay. The first comparison is in color. What color is the strawberry? Strawberry? Red. 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 What colors are cucumber? Green. Yes. Green on the inside, on the outside, and what color is it on the inside? Outside, verde, inside, when you cut it open? Dentro? Yeah. White. White. Blanco. Okay? Size. Size. Strawberry. What size is a strawberry? Is it grande? Small. Very small. 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 Size of a cucumber? It's big. Big or long? Long. 
So far, do we have anything in common between a strawberry and a cucumber? Which one? Maybe? No, they're very different. Very different. Same? Okay. Textura. Texture, when you chew them. What is a strawberry like? Is it smooth, smooth in your mouth? Yeah. Is it crunchy? Crunchy. Crunchy. And is the cucumber crunchy? Yes. They are both crunchy. They both have seeds, but the strawberry is the only fruit that has the seeds on the outside. On the outside. Outside. Seeds, Samia. Cucumbers have seeds on the inside. Outside, inside, opposites. So, what fruit has seeds on the outside? Outside? Strawberry. Strawberry. Okay. How do we eat a strawberry in a cucumber? Do we use a spoon or a fork or our fingers? Can we eat strawberries with our fingers? Which do you eat a strawberry? With fork? With finger? What? With finger. Okay. Um, yeah. the strawberry and the cucumber with the finger? No. You're right. We eat cucumbers with a fork. With a fork. But we can eat both of them with a fork. We can eat both of them with our fingers if we slice the cucumber. Okay? Okay. What if we compared milk and tomato sauce, two liquids? Now you have compared tomato de salsa. <clears throat> and milk. This is tomato. Repeat up, word for word. Tomato. Tomato. Okay. And milk. They are both what? They're not salads. They're they're K forma. They're both liquids. What about the color? Liquid color. White. 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 Red. Red. Yes. Red. And tomato sauce is? Red. Red. Yeah. Yes. Red. Um, which one do we drink? Milk. Milk. Yes. We drink milk. What do we do with tomato sauce? 
What do we do with tomato sauce? We put it on. We put it in other foods. We put it in spaghetti. Okay. What we talked about putting food in categories the last time. What category does milk go in? Milk category. Is vegetable food? No, not milk. Not grains. Dairy. 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 Yes, dairy. Very good. Dairy. You pronounced it correctly today. Excellent. Dairy. And tomato sauce would go into what category? Tomatoes are a vegetable. Vegetable, yes. Uh, it's still a vegetable. It's the consistency has changed, but it's still a vegetable. Tomato sauce. It's just a different form. It's just a horrible form of a tomato. Questions? Okay. We're going to talk about countable and uncountable nouns now. So, do you have your list, your category list from the last time? Yes. Just a moment, please. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Some of, some of them here. Yeah. Uh, a compartir el archivo. Okay, se me fue. Okay, please. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I have put up one fruit. Okay, and two vegetables. Okay, I have two vegetables and one fruit. Which word is fruit? Which one is fruit? Ladies, this, this three. Which one is fruit? Wow, mango. Yes, mango. Now, these three words have something in common. When you make the plural, it's E S. Potatoes is P O T A T O E S. And the same with tomatoes. Are these three nouns countable or not countable? Countable or not countable? Countable, yes. I can count the mangoes on the tree. I can count potatoes and tomatoes. Countable. See. But One. 
non-countable. Liquids would be like coffee. If someone comes over, I might say, would you like some coffee? But I can also say, let's go for a cup of coffee. I can count the cups of coffee, but I cannot count coffee. The same with oil. Oil is another liquid. I can pour it, but I can't count it. It is non-countable. Milk. Milk. How is milk served? How is milk served? How is milk milk served? In a glass. So I can say I have one glass of milk, but I can't count milk. I can say it's a mix. Bread. Would bread be countable or would bread be non countable? Just a minute to write, please. Right? Finish. No, no. Can I count bread? Bread. Countable or uncountable? Bread. Countable. It's it's only countable if I can count loaves of bread. Bread comes in loaves. <laughs> loaves of bread. Can you say loaves? Repeat up, word for word. Loaves of bread. Okay, what about ice? Can I count ice? Can I count ice? No. It's now countable. Um, what about beauty? Can I count beauty? Can I count beauty? No. E-A-U. I can't count abstract nouns. We can't count abstract nouns. I can't count fun. I can't count fun. No, no. Not one, two, three, fun. Can't count. I can't count love. You can count how many times you've been in love. But you can't count love. <laughs> can I can I count? Can I count chicken? Chicken? Yes. Chickens are countable, but chicken is not. So I can say, in my refrigerator, I have some chicken. chicken. But if I go to the market, I can buy one whole chicken. Or two whole chickens. 
But in my refrigerator, I can look and think, do I have some chicken to make supper? So it depends on how we use it in the sentence. OK? I'm going to go through some vegetables. And I want you to tell me if they're countable or non-countable. Okay. Look at your chart from Tuesday. Onions, countable or non-countable? Countable. Onions. Good. Potatoes. Potatoes. Countable. Countable. Correct. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Avocados. Butter. Butter. I didn't hear the answer. Butter? Uncountable. Uncountable or non-countable. OK, good. Those words can be used interchangeably. You can say uncountable, or you can say non-countable. All right, what about sour cream? That was on your list, sour cream. Is sour cream countable? Sour cream? Uncountable. Uncountable, yes. Um, lentils. That's a hard one. Lentils, are lentils countable? Uncountable. Uncountable. What about rice? Rice. What about rice? Rice. Yeah. Uncountable. Uncountable. Sugar. What? Is sugar countable? Repeat, please. Which one? Sugar. Is sugar. Sugar. No, it's non-countable. I can't count sugar. No. I can't count sugar. No. Flour. Flour no. to make bread. Is flour countable or uncountable? No. Uncountable is flour. What about salt? Is salt countable or uncountable? <laughs> okay, any questions? No. Okay, let's go back to a single countable noun. If I'm talking about one mango, I use the article A, a mango. If I'm talking about a potato and a tomato, it's a tomato. These are countable. Okay. Eggs, apples, and oranges, are they countable or uncountable? It's difficult to tell whether you're saying countable or uncountable. So think up a little bit, please. These are all countable, right? These three begin with what kind of letter? A vowel. So this is an A. An A. This is an apple. Yes. And it's apple. Yes. 
in orange? Because it means vowels. I use an. I use an because these words all begin with a vowel. E, A, and O are vowels. So it's an egg, an apple, an orange. What about potato? Would I say a potato or an potato? Potato. A potato or an potato? A potato. A potato. A potato. A potato. What about tomato? A tomato. Yes. Good. Do you have any questions? No, sir. Okay. Do you have this sheet? Yes, they do it in the notebook. Excellent. Okay. Take it out, please. Take it out, please. It has food items on it. Yes, they do it. Okay, great. Groceries. Can you read this? Groceries are food you buy at grocery. Excellent. Price. Price. What something costs. What something costs. Quanto cuesta is how much does it cost? How much does it cost? Your pronunciation today is wonderful. Okay, in the United States, we're still not on the metric system. So, we measure weight by pound and gallons, and you measure by liters and grams. So, one price might be $2 and the decimal point stands for and, 25 cents a pound. Will you please repeat? Two dollars and 25 cents. Now, please look at your ad and see if you can find an item on here that costs two dollars and twenty five cents. Two dollars and twenty five cents. Apple. That's correct. Excellent. Apples. And they're often sold in a B A G. What is that word? Okay. A plastic bolsa. B A G is bag. Bag of apples. Two dollars and twenty five cents. Yeah. This one. Do I have anything else on this sheet that is two twenty five a pound? Oh yes, I made that one up. That's not on here. Okay. How about two four? Let's two four two four four a dollar thirty. Which one? Red 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 papers. 
correct? That's correct. Red peppers. I can read this two ways. I can say a dollar thirty cents, or I can say a dollar thirty. Okay. What about one dollar ninety nine cents a pound? Repeat, please. One dollar. One. Please repeat. One dollar ninety nine cents. $1.99 a pound. What item is 99 cents a pound? Chicken. That's correct. Chicken. Excellent. Okay. A dollar ten. A pound. What item on the sheet is a dollar ten? Cucumbers. 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 There you go. Much better. Okay. Cucumbers has three syllables. Let's try it again. Cucumbers. Cucumbers. Excellent. Three dollars ninety nine cents a gallon. Please repeat. Three dollars. Not two dollars. Repeat. Ninety-nine cents. Ninety-nine cents. A pound. A gallon. A gallon. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Exactamente. Ice cream. Excellent. Repeat. Gallon. Gallon. Good. Okay. Ninety-nine cents a pound. Ninety-nine cents a pound. So let me show you what the word cents looks like. This is the word cents. Dollars and cents. Okay. Ninety-nine cents a pound. We don't we don't see that you write on the blackboard. Oh. Okay. Dollars cents. Yeah. Do you see? Yeah. Okay. Okay. There. Okay. Dollars, cents. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for asking. Because I don't know if you don't tell me. Um, all right. So 99 cents a pound. What item is 99 cents a pound? Tomato. 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 Yes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay. And repeat. Seventy-five cents. Seventy-five cents a pound. Seventy-five cents a pound. Banana. That's correct. Bananas. Bananas are one of the Best bargains at the grocery store. They're cheap and they're healthy. Okay, two dollars and sixty-five cents. Two dollars and sixty-five cents. I like the way you all said it together that time. Good job. Okay, what is two dollars and sixty-five cents? Which one? Two hours. 
Because I don't have that one on, on there. <laughs> my eyes got bigger than my budget. All right. A dollar thirty a pound. A dollar thirty a pound. Excellent. What's a dollar thirty a pound? Again, please. Oh, yes. Carrots. Carrots. Three dollars and sixty-five cents a jar. $3.65 What item is $3.55 a jar? Barbecue sauce. Barbecue. Yes, barbecue sauce. And one of the big differences between English and Spanish is the order of words. In Spanish, you say sauce barbecue. In English, we say barbecue sauce. Okay? Two dollars and fifty cents a bag. Two dollars. Did some of you fall asleep? Let's try it again. Two dollars and fifty cents a bag. Repeat that, por favor. Yes, flour is two fifty a bag. Three dollars and eighty five cents a pound. Three dollars a pound. Good. And what is that? Cheese. 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 Excelente. Cheese. Now, we talked about containers. What do we call this type of container? <laughs> like a me. Jar. Yes, this is a jar. It can be glass or it can be plastico. So I might buy mustard in a jar. I might buy mustard in a jar. In Barranquilla, you buy many, many eggs at one time. But in the United States, we frequently buy eggs by the dozen. Dozen. Please repeat. Dozen. Dozen. Do you know how many are in a dozen? Do you know how many eggs are in a dozen? Twelve. A dozen means twelve. So. We buy a carton of eggs, something like this. And in this box, there are a dozen eggs. When the end comes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next, we're going to add up our great grocery list. Do you have this sheet? Yes, you write the last class. Okay, I want you to think about making something to eat. You have three choices. You can make a vegetable salad. Or a fruit salad. Or you can make barbecue 
So I want you to go shopping and to list the items that you buy. Do you have that worksheet? Okay, yes. Okay. I would like to have one student tell me what you think I want you to do. Can you tell me the assignment? What do I want you to do? Underneath food, I want you to write the food. You can use the ad to help you. You write the food and how much it costs. Only of this one, vegetable, salad, fruit salad, or barbecue, or right. chicken. chicken. One of them. Right. You choose one of them. Right. So you could make, you could make barbecue chicken and rice, and you could have sliced tomatoes on the side. So write what you want to buy and how much it costs. Okay. Do it. Okay. I'm going to give you about five minutes. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. Do you have questions? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Begin.
Eva, I have a question for you. Yeah? Did you print the quiz by chance? Do you have the quiz, Eva? Yes. Oh, good. Well, at the end of the class when I read it, can you hold it up for me? Uh-huh. Okay, wonderful. Fantastic. I clicked that button to mute, but is it muted? Is it your How are you doing? Are you finished? No, we have a problem with the mathematics. <laughs> you have a problem with what? With math. <laughs> But Laura has me. Okay, Laura. Okay. 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 Are you guys ready? Listo? We're ready. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi, teacher. Okay. 
<laughs> Are you ready to tell me what you're going to fix for dinner? C uh, salad fruit. Six dollar uh, seven seventy five uh, cents. Cents. Three, cents. Three pound apple. Um, one dollar fifteen. Apples. Sí, fifteen. <laughs> Fe uh, 15 cents, 2 pounds, banana. Uh, 7 dollars, okay. 95, uh, 3 pounds, strong, strawberry. Uh, how does it Good. I don't know. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Fruit salad. Strawberry. Strawberry. Two dollars and sixteen five pounds. Apples. Two dollars and twenty five pounds. Banana. Seventy five. Dollars and nine pounds. That's Total. very expensive for bananas. You don't mean seventy nine dollars. You mean seventy nine cents. Cents. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. You don't have to put the pounds. Just tell me the amounts. I don't want to make it too difficult. Um, el total is. <laughs> What was that last part? It costs. Repeat, it, please. It costs uh -huh. is um, twelve dollars and forty nine cent pounds. Cents. Forty nine cents. Yes. You don't need to put the pounds. But you're a very good shopper because you still have half of your budget left. You were given twenty-five dollars, so that's great. Good for you. Hello, Someone else teacher. want to share with me, boy? Hi. Okay. For the for the salad fruit, I need a strawberry. Her price is uh, two dollar sixty-five uh, cents pound. Cents. Cent. Okay. Cent. Cucumber, uh, one dollar, one dollar ten. Banana, uh, no, apples, two dollar twenty five cent. And tomato, uh, ninety nine cents. For the salad fruits, I need half six seven uh, sixteen nine. No me enrede. <laughs> For the salad fruit, I need half six dollar sixty nine cents pounds of fruit. Good. Anyone else? No. Okay, let me help you a little bit. When you say when you spend Uno dollar. It's one dollar. It, if I spend two, it isn't two dollar. It's two dollars. Anything more than one is plural. So it's always one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, like that. Entiendo? Yeah. Understand? Yes. yes. Okay. Don't be too quiet. I need to hear from you. And I want you to say the word apple. It's not it's not apple. It's apple, everyone. Please repeat. Apple. Apple. Yes. Yeah. 
Please repeat. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Vegetable salad. Vegetable salad. Excelente. The order in English is different than Spanish. Any questions? No. When you mention when you mention dollar and cents for your total, you don't have to tell how many pounds. <clears throat> Good job, everyone. <clears throat> Maybe someday you'll get to go shopping in an American grocery store. Okay. We're going to look at a video of a, a section from a movie called Oliver. The movie's name is Oliver and the song is Glorious Food. And on the screen it will show the words. So if it I I it, it should show the words. So you can sing along with it, okay? And then you can ask me about the words later. Okay, so we're going to play it now. My, my executive assistant, Deborah. <laughs> Hello. Hello, teacher. <laughs> awesome job, you guys. Awesome. Okay, where's the video here? Where did we go? Hang tight. <laughs> All righty, you guys. Okay. Ready, Freddy? Yeah. All righty. Okay, listen up. Gruel is a type of of a vena. <clears throat> Sorry. These these children are in an orphanage. <clears throat> <laughs> Hang on. We're having a, a little bit of difficulty. Just be patient. Okay.
Could you understand it? The media is about. It's about some children who all live together because they have no home. They live in an orphanage. And every day they're given this food that they call gruel, and it's sort of like a venna, oatmeal, only it's very liquidy, like water. And they're complaining because they can't have food. No food. They just have gruel. They went, no gruel, no gruel. They have this every day, so they're sick of it. They said they dreamed of sausage and... Did you catch that part? They dreamed of sausage with... Mustard. 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 Yes. And that was from the movie Oliver. And they also said they pictured themselves having a steak. Steak, carne. Steak. Okay. Not dry, not blown, not black. It's only the soup, onion soup. See, see. That's like some person that works with. Remember the orphanage? Yes, orphanage here in Paris. going to talk about a game that I call what is the question? <clears throat> what is the question? I'm going to give you an answer okay. and I'm going to ask you to tell me the question. Okay. The first one. I bought apples. What is the question? I bought apples. That is the answer. What is the question? What did you buy? Is the question. What did you buy? Okay. This is just a thinking game. I want you to think. I'm going to give you the answer again, and I want you to tell me the question. I bought an apple. The question is, what did you buy? Because the answer is in the past. Oh. Ex exactly, exactly. Okay, strawberries cost two dollars and fifty cents. What is the question? Let me give you a secret or, or a clue. I'll say it in Spanish, you tell me in English. The Answer is strawberries cost two dollars and twenty five cents. 
Quanto Questa. Do. Do. Excellent. Repeat the question, please. How much do Excellent. Next one. The watermelon is next to the lemons. What is the question? The watermelon is next to the lemons. I'll give you the first word. Where? Where is? Yes, that's right. Where is? You're in the grocery store and you're asking the man where? Where is? The where is watermelon? Excelente. Where is the watermelon? The answer is yes. We have celery. What is the question? How do you do? Let me let me help you. Do you do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Do you have a celery? Celery. Do you have a celery? Do you have celery? Please repeat. Do you have celery? Celery. Do you have? Do you have celery? One, two, three. Do you have celery? Repeat. Repeat. Do you, Do you have, have celery? There you go. Good job. Okay. Ava, let's go through the quiz now, please. Can you put the quiz up on the screen for me? Repeat, please. I would like to read the quiz. Will you please put it up close to the screen? Yeah, just a moment, please. Thank you very much, Ava. No, no me abrió una ventana, se, se reúna. No más se abrió por aquí. ¿Cómo lo hago si aquí no más tengo la videollamada? Hay you do not have not to copy this. Not this. No necessitan copiar. Just wait me. No, do not copy. No necessitan copiar. <coughs> okay, perfect. Solamente all <coughs> yeah. Rano. Okay. So, for your quiz... Okay, here you are, the quiz. So, for your quiz, I want you to look over your bingo sheets and study your words. And then, see if by memory, you can think of four words in each category. So, for fruits, for vegetables, for proteins. Let's just think a minute. What were some of the proteins that we talked about? What's one of them? Protein. Which one? The last class. Pollo. Chicken. 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 Salsa. 
Um, oh, wait no. up. Eggs. Eggs. Yes. Thank you. Queso. Chicken. Eggs. Queso. Cheese. What about black-eyed? No. Black-eyed. Yes. Yes. Those are all examples of protein. Okay, and then we have dairy, dairy. and grains. So, you don't have to mention the others, but I just want you to study your bingo sheet, study the words, and see if by memory you can fill in the chart, naming four of each category. And Tiendo? No. Okay, this is for your quiz. Then the other questions that you have, there are five questions from the PowerPoint presentation we had on Tuesday. Who would like to read the first question for me, please? Nestor, are you there today? Nestor, are you there today? No, no, remember. Um, who would like to read the first question, please? This gives you practice reading. How much? 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 No, don't remember. Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right. I asked which integrated learning styles we used. Can you remember what some of them are? There are four. Integrated style. Integrated style. Did we have anything that was with listening? Speaking, writing, reading. Yes. Did we any of those? What is it? This one. Glorious food. What did we What did we do to the song "Glorious Food"? Escuchar. We listen to a video. Yes, we listened. <clears throat> and we read the words on the screen. Right. Yes. And what speaking did we do today? We learned how to read. When we go to the market, we learned how to read what? Dollars and. Price. Um, Cents, yes. Prices. Prices. Okay. We have just a few minutes left. Do you have any questions before we go on? No. Oh. Ms. Deborah wants me to ask you how you're doing with your children's book. Do you have any questions about it? Would you like to ask her questions? Questions? Have you thought of a main character? Are you going to have your main character be an animal or a person? No. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you? Hi, thank you. Good. Okay, on your children's book, you need to have the entire story written completely by August 12th. That's in three days. You do not have to turn it in, do not submit it, 
to finish. Um, la fecha es solamente para ti, para ustedes, um, en el proceso. Okay, so you do not get behind. So you need to be almost done writing the story. Remember the timeline, the horario? See? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So please be working on that. Also, I need most of you to turn in and complete your quizzes. A lot of you are behind on your quizzes. I told them the, the quizzes and some some of them have to you. Okay, remember you need to complete your quizzes to earn your certificate. Okay. Okay, so I will be waiting for those. So if you have questions, you can call me or email. Okay, but let's get those done. So I hope you are enjoying writing your children's book. It's a fun project. Yeah, thank you. So, any questions? No questions. Okay. Well, thank you, and I will let Anne say goodbye. You guys, que tengan un buen fin de semana. Have a great weekend. Okay. Bye. Okay. You can, you can sit down. Okay. Bye, you guys. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for a great class. Thank you. Bye bye. Have Thank a great you. weekend. Bye. Bye. What happened with the Sam? Bye. Do you have the Sam? Yes. Do you have it? Okay. Thank you, Ava. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.